Okay guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn about how to use the Zener diode within the circuit wizard simulator. For it, first of all, you must have to uh, create a project of circuit wizard. How you can do that? Go to File, Go to New, and then click on Electronics Project. Then click on OK. Okay, now you, you can see a lot of components on the right hand side. A lot of folders for specific components. So here we have all the components. So we will go for our diodes and here we can see our Zener diode. And we know that Zener diode is widely used as the voltage regulator. Just like 7805 or 7809 voltage regulator ICs. So what's the difference between this one and the ICs? They are extremely cheap. The Zener diodes are extremely cheap and obviously they are having a wide range of values like even they, they can supply 1.7, 2.1, 2.3, even sometimes 2.6, 7 and 3.1 and all sort of voltages. So I don't know uh, about this particular zener diode that uh, what it's breaking breakdown voltages but we can see so with the help of these zener diodes we can save our like costly components like microcontroller or some cmos ics etc so uh, let's take our power supply this is our power supply of 9 volt we will make it 9 volt okay okay one more thing that the Zener diodes always used to work in what's called as the reverse biased. In reverse biased mode means that the cathode must be connected with the positive terminal of the battery and anode must be connected with the with the negative terminal of the battery. Okay, so this is called as the reverse biased. Okay, now what what uh, what the other thing is now? Okay, one more thing that we also need one shunt resistance in between uh, Zener diode cathode and what's called as the negative supply of the battery. So we will go for our resistor. This resistor is used in order to drop some in order to limit the resistance in order to limit the current because when when the zener diode used to switch a lot of current like an avalanche of current will go and it, it is just like the short circuit so uh, this resistor will act as a current limiter resistor so now we will go for our voltage uh, what's called is the voltage uh, voltage measurement or voltmeter so we will go for virtual instruments and we will take our voltmeter so positive end must be with the cathode and negative end must be with anode now we will run it now we can see that 5.14 is the voltage drop across this diode even if we use to increase it to like a 18 volts still it will be like 5.117 now it is 17 so it is in between this range 5.1 we can say it is 5.2 or 5.1 okay now we will write 24 and now it is 5.18 so this is our zener diode now you can see that 24 volt is very very dangerous for our LEDs but either can we use uh, 5.18 with the uh, LEDs? Yes, we can. Yes, we can use this with our LEDs. So light emitting diodes and this one. Okay, we can, although 5.18 is still dangerous for LEDs, but it's okay for trying that either. Okay, sorry, this is. Uh, okay yeah yeah this one okay so so we need to run it like this and now you can see that our voltage is still 
one three uh, obviously due to addition of resistor uh, voltage used to drop but still our led is safe okay and if we directly use to attach this led with this what's called as the uh, 24 volt supply i think it is very very dangerous okay it is very very dangerous oh so that is why we are always using the zener diodes as the voltage regulator so don't forget to subscribe and thanks for visiting our channel